I think that women of a certain age feel that we should just withdraw and we're afraid of putting ourselves out there. We might um, make a fool of ourselves, we might be too show-offy, but because I've written this book, which is about women being adventurous, going outside their comfort zone, I thought, why not? We need to put ourselves out there, and I knew that producing a video was going to help get my message across and tell people what the book's about. Not everybody is going to read a Facebook post, but a video they're going to really notice. And it is about growing older. Growing older doesn't mean you have to retreat and do less. You can be bolder and grow older. <laughs>
What made you decide, okay, you're gonna go for it? What was the turning point? I was making a connection between transitions, which we all go through in life, and that because I had organized so many outdoor adventures with other women, I realized that having those experiences and doing so many different things which stretch and extend us, it gives us that sense of resilience and ability mm. to cope and adapt with changes. And we know when we do achieve these challenging goals that we can do so much more. And it pushes us, yeah, if I can do that, I can try something else that's new and different. And social media is one of those things mm. where we can extend ourselves. It's a wonderful way of connecting with people. Mm. May we ask, what do you think, cheeky audience? May we ask Mary, how old are you? I'm 71. Yeah, that's totally inspiring. Totally crushes any beliefs that you can do social media after a certain age. Here's the life proof. Yeah, that's yeah. so good. And you're owning it proudly. And like, you know, that's yeah. so cool. There's nothing to hide about growing older. We don't need to feel that we don't have a place um, on these platforms we belong there too and guess what there's a lot of older people who themselves are becoming more engaged so let's just get rid of those stereotypes and myths that older people aren't comfortable and don't want to be on these platforms they just need help mm -hmm. and this is where that intergenerational connection works so beautifully mm -hmm. you know if we need help we just step up and we help one another we learn from one another and that's that's part of why this is an exciting journey to be on yeah and you know like this is something that i realized on our journey together like i always look up on you and i say to myself yeah i can totally see myself at the age of 71 like you and i want to be like you you know i don't want to write off my life when i reach a certain age i I'm gonna be enjoying it and having fun and there's so much cool stuff we can do and you've always been an inspiration for me, that's great. Thank you, Bo, yeah. that's wonderful yeah. to hear. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's always the magic in, in that... Well, if you put it in the business terms, it's the mutually benefiting partnership. Mm -hmm. I like to call it more like the win-win or, or that cool connection that, you know, the energy flows. Mm. and. Uh, you can give, but if you don't receive, or if only one gives, it's not gonna work. So, mm. yeah, I always felt really good about what we did yeah. together, and yeah, I, I consider you a friend now, not a client. That's right. Yeah, it's it's true that you connect where you have similar interests, um, you have things in common, and the more I've got to know you, the more I realise we have got more in common, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I felt that too. Yeah. <laughs> So the next question, um, what I thought would be interesting for people to hear is um, when you went for your journey, you did whatever you had in plan, what happened then? How did this whole journey with the social media presence, putting yourself out there, becoming visible, showing your face and your messages to the world through the video and through the posts change anything in you? you build confidence over time um, and you've got to experiment and try different things see what works for you and for me writing blogs actually gave me the confidence to reach the point where I thought I can write a blog I'm getting good feedback on the blogs that I'm posting people are connecting with them and the more of yourself that you share the more you get back which is really interesting mm -hmm. and the video has done that too it's shown me a different side of myself um, which was a bit of an eye-opener this is actually how you look this is how you sound that you don't really often get to see mm -hmm. so how was that for you when you when you saw yourself first on the video and you heard yourself and you had that full picture of yourself from outside basically well mixed mm. that was how i felt um yeah i remember <laughs> i like the way that you produced two versions one was a vanilla type version and the <laughs> other one was asking more in-depth questions which 
really got to the heart of things and then I was able to open up and show the real me. So that's a gift that you have, that you know how to bring out the real person, the authentic person, that I was probably too self-conscious to do on my own. So for that yeah. I'm very grateful. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a very beautiful process to, to watch you unfold and blossom out because, yeah, it's tricky. It's tricky when you just don't know what to expect and there's a lot of fear and expectations. I see that all the time and I've gone through that myself too. Like, what will happen if I put that out there? How will people receive it? Um, what if I say something wrong or not say the right thing or all the look stuff, what you mentioned? It's, uh, it's big stuff, so in a way you have to feel safe and if you just go and enter a territory that is totally unfamiliar or it's like putting yourself out in a different country where you don't speak the language mm. and then you know you, you have to have some skills to get around otherwise it feels really scary and lonely. So, yeah. so I think for me um, I had a lot more comfort knowing what I didn't know, knowing that I needed to reach out and work with the right person. Like what we produced, it wasn't using um, expensive equipment. It was done with a phone. And just like this one? Just like this. So for me, that's more natural. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you might be able to hear the waves in the background, but that's, what we part, both love. that's <laughs> part of what we love. This is the perfect place to be. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm so happy you said that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes letting go of the perfection, that's a big one, and going for the feel-good factors. And yeah. that's so many times, I think, an override mm. the experience. Yeah, definitely. If you're thinking too much about the technique and what it's going to look like, um, yeah, whereas with this, it feels like it's flowing mm. and it's much more natural. I would like to ask, what was one thing that you would um, give to people as a tip what you learned through your experience <laughs> for those who might start to think about writing a book and publishing themselves or or just getting on the social media platforms and building a presence what would be a, a top tip Mary top tip <laughs> um, don't try and do it alone um, even with writing a book I went out and found a book coach so somebody who I could talk mm -hmm. to once a month about what I was doing, the challenges I was facing. So in terms of you know social media, um, I would reach out sooner, um, talk to Bayer sooner and you will go further, faster. Yeah. <laughs> that's my tip. That's, yeah. that's a good one, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and like you know, it's it's a big thing about trusting and and having that that good connection again so if you know someone else who you feel you could trust and go to them go to them you know but it's it's good to be supported in our journeys and we can't just wing everything on our own we can but it's hard work and tiring and overwhelming so yeah I, I know that from my journey too it's good to mm. to get supported yeah and looking back that would have been one of the lessons in um, business for me is there were times when I didn't reach out and I didn't ask for help and really I limited mm -hmm. the potential for what I was able to achieve because I didn't um, reach out and get the help that I needed and in these times especially we need it more than ever. Mm -hmm. It's your professionalism, mm -hmm. it's the quality of your work, the attention to detail but more than anything it's actually the way you relate to the individual and you're able to kind of see where each person is mm. on their journey and there's no judgment involved it's more that you connect with the person and you see what their need is and respond to that in a very individual way so it's tailored service that's mm. what i love <laughs> in terms of the video it's it definitely has enabled me to reach potential readers of my book. If videos are done well, the real self emerges. You show another side of yourself which gives people a more holistic view of who you are, what you stand for, 
And it's reinforcing. Is this somebody who I feel comfortable working with? Is this somebody whose book I might be interested in reading? Yeah, it's very much showing another side of you um, so that people have a better idea whether you're someone they want to engage with. Um, so video, we know, gets a lot more attention these days because it's immediate. Um, and as long as it's good quality, yeah, I think that it, it actually does add a lot of value. Mm. How did you use your video? I have put it on my website, I've put it on Amazon, um, I've also used it in various ways to promote the book. Mm -hmm. So um, I've actually posted it on LinkedIn and Facebook as you're aware. Yeah. yeah. So it's, I wouldn't say I've used it to its max, mm -hmm. um, but that's quite good. I can come back and, yeah. and use it again at another stage. But yeah, definitely there's people who are more aware that the book is happening and can see a little bit more of who's behind the book and why the book was written. So that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> and another adventure happening in the sky somewhere. <laughs> Let's just show it to the audience. Tahuna Beach live <laughs> with the planes. <laughs> Just another adventure. Because it's all part of the story and we might edit this out or not. Because <laughs> wow. it's real. <laughs> They're off on an adventure too, that's for sure. <laughs> I've been part of some of the amazing trips like the mailboat cruise yeah. and um, a beautiful exhibition. Uh, outdoor art exhibition and so many more cool yeah. stuff. Yeah. And we went over to Takaka and did the oh, bike, the bike trip. Yeah, the yeah. bike trip that almost blew us off from the road and we had I to know. turn back. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and I freaked out the most. I was the youngest and I freaked out the most. <laughs> yeah. Well, the interesting thing was the next morning, Laura and I took off early and yeah. we went. Um, so. We didn't miss out, yeah. yeah. But that was that was a good call. And with AWOL, it's always about feeling safe together. Mm -hmm. And if one person's not feeling safe, um, I'm very happy to turn around and go back. And you were the one to speak up, whereas I think <laughs> others were thinking, ah, how are we feeling about this? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we combined our strengths. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, what was your favorite adventure actually that you write in the book? Now I'm inspired to ask because you might be wondering as well. Well, Tongariro Crossing would have mm. to be right up there because um, it's a spiritual journey as well. Um, you really feel like you're in another place. Yeah. 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 I love the multi day adventures um, in the Ava Tasman and the Queen Charlotte Track because you spend more time together. The Tora Coastal Walk is amazing along the Wairarapa Coast. Um, yeah, so when we're away for weekends, there's something different that happens and you've got more time to meet different people, have conversations, to spread out and to be on your own. Yeah. The Hollyford track as well. Yeah. I could go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of favorites. Well, you gotta go and check out the book. <laughs> there's so many cool stories there. and. Yeah, even if you're in New Zealand or even if you're out of New Zealand and want to connect to beautiful nature and amazing spots and amazing adventures uh, with cool women. Yeah. Now we're gonna show you our show notes. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. We hope you enjoyed this beautiful, inspiring story of Mary and her presence and, you know, connection to social media to the world. And um, yeah, check out her book, enjoy it, follow her footsteps. And I'm honored to be the first person oh, yes, yes. in your series. Mary is the first one <laughs> who I'm interviewing for this video series because she's got this amazing story to share. And I thought you will love to hear that too. It might inspire you. 
just watch out see what comes up for you and, and you might be next yeah let us know <laughs> all the best we'll be back with the next episode soon happy adventuring <laughs> <laughs>